Dear students, let's discuss about a very important understanding in hydrogenic atoms that is different energy levels. If we talk about an atomic number z and nth orbit, then we already discussed in the previous section that energy in nth orbit we can write as minus thirteen point six z square by n square electron volt. This is the total energy of electron in nth orbit of a hydrogenic atom or one electron system of which atomic number is z. Now using this formula, we can easily calculate the energies of different energy levels or orbits. Let's have a look on this. Here, say if we talk about for n equals to one, on substituting the value of n equals to one, the energy of first orbit we are getting is e one is equals to thirteen point six z square electron volt. Now, if we just have a look, what will happen if we substitute n is equals to two? The value of n if we substitute two, energy of second orbit here we can see we are getting is thirteen point six by two square that will be four. So the result we are getting is minus three point four z square electron volt. Now in another case we can see if we substitute n equals to three, the energy of third orbit will be thirteen point six by three square into z square electron volt. Here uh, it will be 1.51 z square electron volt. Now similarly for n equals to 4, 5, and 6, here we can see the values of energies we are getting as 0.85 z square eV, 0.54 z square eV, and 0.37 z square electron volt. Now why I have uh, calculated all these energies here for you is now just have a Look on the difference between these successive energy levels, energies of energy levels. If we just have a look on the difference of first and second orbit, this difference is 10.2 z square eV. The difference of second and third is 1.89 z square eV. Difference of third and fourth is 0.66, and then 0.31 and 1.7 z square electron volt respectively. Here you can see as we are moving away from the nucleus, as the orbits are getting away, the difference between successive energy levels uh, is decreasing. Now, if we just draw a pictorial diagram of the same, say if this is the nucleus and uh, above nucleus there is the first orbit, and for first orbit the energy is minus thirteen point six z square. Then second orbit, which has energy more than this, will be certainly above it. This is say minus three point four z square. And if we just have a look on the third orbit, which is having energy one point five one z square, will be relatively closer to second orbit because here you can see the difference of first and second is ten point two electron volt, and that between second and third is one point eight nine electron volt. Similarly, if we uh, draw the fourth orbit pictorially, we have to draw it much closer to third orbit. It will be having energy minus 0.85 z square eV, having a difference of 0.66 electron volt uh, with the third orbit. Similarly, other orbits can be drawn, and as uh, we are moving away from nucleus, the orbits are getting closer and closer, and uh, you can say. The adjoining orbit energy difference between very high values of uh, orbital quantum number, it will be approximately tending to zero. So the difference will remain zero. So very soon the orbit n equals to infinity or the surface of atom will be there, which you can say it is approximately at a finite value because no electrons reside in very high orbits. Electrons reside only up to fourth or fifth orbit in an atom. So this is the way how we define for n equals to one. Always remember the energy is minus thirteen point six z square, and for last orbit that is correspond to n equals to infinity, the electron energy in this orbit will be zero. That is almost free from the attraction of nucleus.